common salt that is NaCl is uh, formed by the combination of sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. NaCl is common salt which is commonly used in kitchen for cooking purposes. Now, NaCl is uh, mainly found in sea water. As you know, it is a you have studied earlier, it is a neutral salt because it is the salt of a strong base and a strong acid. Strong base is NUH and strong acid is HCl. Now, sea water contains many salts dissolved in it and NaCl is one of them. From sea water, NaCl that is common salt can be extracted just by storing the sea water somewhere, so that water evaporates leaving behind the salts. The salt obtained like this is called rock salt, which is brown in color due to the presence of impurities in it, which can be purified to get common salt. Now, common salt is a raw material for many chemical compounds. Many chemical compounds can be prepared by common salt. Now, when common salt is dissolved in water, its solution is called brine and when it is electrolyzed by passing the electric current, it dissociates into sodium ions and chlorine ions. Sodium ions are deposited at cathode and chloride ions are deposited at anode, where it forms chlorine gas. So, chlorine gas liberates at anode and sodium ions liberate at cathode, where on combining with water they form sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. So, by electrolysis of brine that is aqueous solution of sodium chloride in water we get at cathode we get hydrogen gas and at anode we get when electrolysis of brine is done by passing electricity, it dissociates into sodium ions and chloride ions. Sodium ions are positively charged, so they will liberate at cathode and there it will combine with water and will form sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Whereas, chloride ions are negatively charged which will be liberated at anode and it will form chlorine gas. So, three substances we get by the electrolysis of aqueous solution of NaCl that is brine, hydrogen gas, chlorine gas and NOH and all are very important raw materials for making so many th useful things. Like hydrogen gas is used as a fuel also, it gives a large amount of energy on burning and also for margarine. For dehydrogenation of vegetable oils to make ghee, ghee can be prepared by this. And also this chlorine gas, as you know it is used to disinfect water and also in the swimming pools for disinfecting the water there for making polyvinyl chloride. It is used to make chlorofluorocarbons used in refrigerators and also used to make pesticides and hydrogen and chlorine together will combine and form HCl gas and HCl gas is used for cleaning steel, for making cosmetics, medicines and ammonium chloride. So many substances, useful substances and compounds can be made from hydrogen and chlorine and NOH is another compound which is liberated at near cathode is used for degreasing metals for making soaps and detergents, sodium hydroxide is used and also it is used for making paper and artificial fibers. NOH and Cl2 are used to make bleach, also used to make household bleach and bleaching fabric. So, now we will study what are the different compounds we can make from common salt or these elements and compounds which are obtained by electrolysis of brine. 
The another important compound is bleaching powder. Its formula is CaOCl2. It is also called calcium oxychloride. It is formed by passing chlorine gas over dry slagged lime. CaOCl2 is formed and water is also formed. So, bleaching powder is widely used for bleaching cotton and linen in textile industry. It is used in paper industry also for bleaching wood pulp. Also in laundry it is used for bleaching of washed clothes if there is any stain on it which is not getting removed. Then it is also used as an oxidizing agent and also it is used to disinfect drinking water to make it germ free so that the water becomes fit for drinking purposes. Next compound which can be prepared from common salt is baking soda. Now baking soda is commonly used in kitchen for baking bread, for baking cakes and for cooking the food faster. Now what is baking soda? Baking soda is a general name and chemically it is called sodium hydrogen carbonate that is formula is NaHCO3. It is prepared by reaction between NaCl, carbon dioxide, ammonia and water. Sodium hydrogen carbonate is formed and ammonium chloride is also formed. On heating sodium hydrogen carbonate forms sodium carbonate and water is given out. Now, uh, you have already studied about uh, baking soda, its uh, basic nature and how it is used to treat acidity in stomach. It is also used for baking the bread and the cakes. Baking soda is a mixture of sodium hydrogen carbonate and tartaric acid. When baking soda is mixed with water, it liberates carbon dioxide gas which makes the dough rise and makes the bread and the cake spongy and soft. So, it is widely used in baking the bread and the cake and I have told you in earlier also as antacid to remove acidity in stomach and also it is used for fire fighting in soda acid fire extinguishers. It liberates carbon dioxide gas on reacting with an acid which extinguishes the fire. Now, next compound which can be prepared from sodium chloride is washing soda. As we have discussed in the case of sodium hydrogen carbonate, from NaCl and carbon dioxide and ammonia and water, sodium hydrogen carbonate is prepared which on heating forms sodium carbonate. Now, this sodium carbonate is dissolved in water and it is recrystallized. On recrystallization it forms washing soda which is Na2CO3 10 H2O. Now, there are you can see in the formula there are 10 molecules of water. Now, water molecules are present in the formula, you will be surprised, you will say it will wet the crystals. Now, these molecules, 10 molecules of water are called water of crystallization and they form a part of the crystal structure. Washing soda is used in various uh, places like in glass, soap and paper industry. Also, it is used in making sodium compounds like borax and it is used as a cleansing agent in homes and also it removes permanent hardness of water, it makes the permanent hard water soft. Now, just now we have discussed water of crystallization, we will discuss some more compounds which have water of crystallization. Are the crystals of salts really dry? They are dry but they some crystals, some salts, some compounds have water molecules which become a part of the crystal structure. Let us first of all perform an activity. Take a test tube, dry test tube in which take 
copper sulfate crystals which are blue in color. Hold it with the help of holder and heat it over the flame of the Bunsen burner. After some times, it is found that, that the blue color changes to white due to the formation of copper sulfate. It forms anhydrous copper sulfate. Anhydrous means the salt from which water molecules have been removed. The salt in which there are water of crystallization, there are water molecules in the crystal, it is called hydrated salt. Now on this white salt, if water drops are sprinkled, it again changes back to blue. It again turns into blue color. Now what actually water of crystallization is? Let us now study the water molecules which form a part of the crystal are called water of crystallization. This example we have already studied Na2CO3 10H2O. One example we have taken in the activity and there is another example gypsum CaSO4 dot 2H2O. It has two molecules of water in the crystal 2. So, when gypsum is heated to about 373 Kelvin, it forms plaster of Paris. Plaster of Paris is calcium sulphate hemihydrate. So, on heating gypsum, we get calcium sulphate hemihydrate. Now, you will be surprised ki why it is half H2O. Actually, one water molecule is shared by two calcium sulphate molecules. We can also write it like this CaSO4 whole twice H2O. Two molecules of calcium sulphate share one molecule of water. Now, as you all know that plaster of Paris is used by doctors to make the plaster over the fractured bones to cure them. Actually, what happens when plaster of Paris is mixed with water, it forms gypsum again, which is a hard mass, which becomes hard. So, it is used to cure the fractured bones and a plaster is applied on the fractured bone to cure it. So, main use of this is this to cure the fractured bones and also it is used to make toys and statues which are used for decorating the houses and uh, you must have heard about POP decorations on the walls and the ceilings. So, it is also used for decorating the walls and the ceilings of the houses of the rooms.